Hey you guys, Ugh, I'm getting a little emotional just when I was about to start this video. Um, it's just like one of those days where like, I'm like mentally like shutting down, you know? So I just feel a little like shut down today. I don't know. I don't know if that happens with you guys, but it definitely happens with me. I have those days where I'm like, my brain just turns off and just is like emotional and doesn't want to do anything. It makes like no sense, honestly. <laughs> But that's how I feel today. Um, I get those feelings like here and there. Um, I like finished fashion school uh, recently, um, actually just yesterday. So I think that's why I'm feeling this way a little. Like I like kind of struggled with it for a, <laughs> like a couple of years because I started it in 2020. So it doesn't feel like real that, you know, I've got it done. So like, it's, I don't know, it hits me different now. So uh, we'll talk about it, but um, we're gonna do like a small like Chipotle mukbang. I don't even know if it's really a mukbang, but we're just gonna like chat about, you know, how I'm feeling in fashion school. So let's get into it. Um, I just got like their chips and dip. I really just like their chips and dip. We got like a Dr. Pib. Mmm, it's good. I haven't had one in forever. Look at the cup. Chipotle is a really cute cup. <laughs> I don't want this to spill in my car, so we're gonna try to just, you know. Look at that. Look at how good it is. Okay. Mm. The chips are so good because they add like the salt to it. I had a salty chip just now. So happy. And the queso is a nice cheese, but a little bit of a spice kick. I just love, you can't go wrong. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This could be an ASMR mute thing. Kidding, I'm going to be talking. <laughs> I don't understand. I was just about to cry in my car. I have meltdowns in my car, okay? And then I was like... No, like, don't cry. Like, film a video. I don't know what it is, but, like, you guys that watch my videos, like, honestly, y'all truly do cheer me up because, I don't know, just, like, filming. I was about to cry, and then the camera came out, and just knowing that people are gonna watch this video, whether if it's just for me eating food or talking, it just, like, makes my heart happy, you know? So I feel better. It always happens like that. I do break down on camera sometimes. April, April was a rough month. Um, yeah, let's like be honest. Let's just like open up and just be honest, honestly. April was a rough month. June's a lot better. A lot of stuff actually still happened in June, like this past week emotionally has been really tough, honestly. And I've been like slowly opening up with people about it in my personal life. So I'm like, we can talk about it online, sure. Um, to a certain extent, of course, but yeah, we can. Um, even in real life sometimes is to a certain extent, I feel like. I don't know, I just like have a really like hard time, honestly, with like opening up. Yeah, um, okay. Oh, this is tough because like after my first relationship didn't work out, I swear after, I don't know if it's like this new generation and you know, the dating culture changing. I don't really know, honestly and find myself like into two different boys all the time or like i don't know this is so lame because like i really just want to be with one boy and find my true person i feel like i've talked about this a little bit on the channel but i don't know what it was after my first relationship didn't work out i just feel like i keep getting in like these little love triangles and honestly they really like tear me apart because i don't want to hurt somebody and it's tough like for example back when i dated my second ex my second relationship um you know dq boy I felt really bad because all along I really liked Dreams did. And like in that situation, I felt like I would have chose like Dreams did. And then like with dating other boys after that, you know, like Quarantine Boy got in the mix. And then I met Missouri Boy. And then between like those two, I really would have chose Missouri Boy. Time really heals the heart and soul and it'll be okay. Really. I feel like, honestly, if anything, I should be thanking Quarantine Boy. He really did me a favor because whether if, like, he tapped out. I feel like, honestly, Quarantine Boy tapped out. He was, like, not interested anymore. Goodbye to me. That's fine. I just wish he said it like that instead of been like, oh, we never clicked because um, that's not true at all. Like, he would always, like, DM me whenever we were on and off. He'd always be the first to DM me when, like, I was trying to move on in my life. <laughs> but um, that's why I'm like, didn't click. I'm like, you're the one that DM me. I have the receipts. I wish I had the receipts from the very beginning, but I have the most recent receipts for that reason to keep track because I want to be right, you know? Um, well, and I am. Um, sincerely, like, I wish him the best and I hope, like, down the road, like, him and I will be okay um, because we did have a really great friendship and it's too bad the dating kind of got in the way. I felt like Quarantine Boy definitely wasted my time dating, but not the friendship, you know? I enjoyed being his friend, so we'll see down the road. I haven't been in a real relationship since freaking DQ boy. No. 
I think that's gonna be all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's just been a lot for me this year, but it's summer now. I'm done with fashion school, summer break, baby. We're getting back on the vlogs. I love doing vlogs, honestly, they're so much fun. They make me the happiest when I edit, but I'm also gonna upload other meat bangs I haven't been able to get uploaded yet. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye Mills Nation. I love you all so much and please stay safe. Mwah.